all that science and math you spew out when you make your argumentation. And your ass didn't even know that the pussy could get wet during sex. <laughs> these niggas, where do they get these niggas from? Ben Shapiro responding to Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's WAP wet ass pussy, as y'all would know. Apparently, Ben Shapiro didn't know that the pussy could get wet. <laughs> he thought you had to have a vaginal disease in order to get wet. So he, he said some shit like, oh, maybe they need to go to the hospital if they shit is uh, wet like a mop. Ben Shapiro, you may want to hire somebody. You may be a cuckold type nigga, huh? <laughs> you may need, your wife may be seeking other options, brother. It's your boy, Dame. Subscribe to Dame's World. And I don't even mean, I don't like using this channel to just rank on niggas. <laughs> But certain niggas deserve to be ranked on. If y'all don't know Ben Shapiro, he's one of those far right wingers who detracts the severity of shit like racism through numbers, through stats. And some people appeal logically like, oh, man, it's proven. But again, numbers lie. People have to understand numbers. And not only do they lie, numbers sway. So, based on what he's talking about right now, he went straight to the number when it came to pussy. <laughs> when it came to sex and his wife and that whole action, he went to the stats. How does a pussy get wet? Let me look up. Let me Google. Let me search. Oh, according to that, this, this is the problem with niggas like Ben. This is why Ben Shapiro can't see racism. Because he's out of touch with reality. He's so in touch with the numbers. This is why Ben Shapiro don't see shit like sexism. And this is why Ben Shapiro can't get his girl wet. Because <laughs> she think, he thinks she need a yeast infection to get wet. <laughs> this shit is so comedy. It's so comedy to me because it's millions of people in the world who think, act, and appeal to the Ben Shapiros, the logical positivists. These are the people who revert to stats and don't, they don't um, even take heed to anecdotes, experience, like we aren't humans and like we don't have the human experience. So they may overlook an actual reality because it doesn't show up on the numbers. A prime example of this would be rape in America, sexual assault in America. If you go on the FBI documents of sexual assault and rape, the numbers are going to be severely low than the actual anecdotal reality of sexual assault and rape. Why? Most women don't report when they've been sexually assaulted or raped. Men, boys get raped, sexually assaulted, and they don't report it. And sometimes even when they do report it, it gets ignored. So the empirical data on certain things like racism, sexism, and your wife's wetness down there... <laughs> They may be flawed or fallible. So and I don't even mean to chastise or ridicule a motherfucker, but Ben Shapiro, come on, man. Maybe you might want to reconsider whether or not racism is real. Racism exists. Maybe you might want to reconsider whether or not sexism is a thing. And maybe you might want to reconsider your sex game, homie. <laughs> if... I, I, I don't even, even want to go too in, but if you, are you even having sex? If you didn't know that they can get wet down there, what are you doing down there, my guy? If she not getting wet down there, you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> uh, that's all I got to say. Ben Shapiro, man, think past stats, think past math, logic, go out there in the field, do some work. And treat your woman right, right man. It's your boy, Dan. <laughs>